All right, I'd like to do another another quick video uh, again showing problems with pulling guards. Number seventy-two here is going to pull, and I, let me first out come out and say this play for the most part runs very very correctly. You see over here, my linebacker stays in position. This is granted at a time where he's not getting pushed down from behind, and when the time is right, when he realizes what's going on, he comes up to make the play. My cornerback blitzes properly. He runs in. He's got good speed, momentum. Gets to the ball carrier when it, when it would be expected. Again, over here, my other corner blitzes. And again, everything, everything well respected. This safety does a very good job of staying in, in decent position. Granted, the fact that he's, you know, 15 yards off the ball carrier at, at, at some point here, right there, he stays in very good position to come up and protect him. My other safety does a good job looking at the play and reacting. But... Again, we're going to get into a point where, and even the blocking here, number 74, good blocking. Good blocking here by a number 14. Good blocking on this uh, wide receiver and tight end on this linebacker. Good pursuit by these cornerbacks to know they got beat on a block, Heinz Ward. I, I still don't like the circles being ran, but understandable. Again, the, the real issue I have is when these offensive guards pull. You see number 74 here going to pull. Excuse me, number 72 going to pull. And when he pulls, it starts allowing weird time shift things to happen. He pulls, and you, you can see that a very good block has been engaged. Number uh, 60, that must be Hartwig. Yeah, he, in he engages with Darnell Dockett. And then because of number 72 pulling, you can see it spins Dockett the wrong way. You can see Dockett spins right there for no real reason. He spins out of a good block. He spins out. I mean, that's a very good block. That's very good position. Even though Hartwig's been defeated, he's doing a very good job maintaining upper leverage, and that's what you do when you get beat. You maintain upper leverage on the player, and that's what he's doing. Very correct procedure from an offensive lineman's perspective. He's keeping upper, you know, upper control of his player, up under his pads. That's, a, that's something you hear a lot about if you watch NFL broadcasts. Stay up under their pads, control their chest, control their body, control their movements. And as you can see, this, this pulling guard kills this whole play to come back and block a linebacker that has nothing to do in the... This linebacker is going to be meaningless in this play. It's an outside run. But what happens is when this block uh, gets disassembled from this pulling guard, it allows Darnell Dockett to come back here and assist in this tackle. And... Okay, here's, an, here's a point where weight and, and force and everything is respected. This is another pro tax situation, but you can see Dockett comes back and really changes. It, it's him. It's Darnell Dockett that changes the direction of this play. Willie Parker, you know, attempts to be going forward and, and driving his feet. Let's get these ugly boxes out of here. Willie Parker drives his feet until Dockett comes in and pushes him back. So again, another issue with a pulling guard uh, messing up blocking assignments, breaking blocking assignments uh, for no real reason. So we'll watch this at speed. And like I said, the only problem I have in this play is that, is this one. And we'll watch it up here from the guard. And we'll see how things develop. I'm sorry, that was not on the guard at all. Uh, we'll watch it up here and we'll see how things develop. And you can see the spin, uh, which is just a time shift. And... Uh, you know, doesn't certainly doesn't ruin the game, certainly doesn't constitute a major flaw, but could really inhibit you from being effective in running situations and could end a game. You know, you get in a fourth and one and something like this happens to end a play, you know, I, you know, people are going to be upset, and rightfully so. You know, you're pulling guard, a guard that should be helping this play succeed, you know, actually knocks the defensive tackle into the play. So just another example I have, and I, I did another example of the offensive guard pulling, uh, making mistakes. So we'll see if uh, I can get a few more videos out today.